How are you keeping people in your stores? Uh, many reasons. Uh, firstly, we have great beverages, and today, I should say, is National Coffee Day. And people will come into our store today because they're going to get a free, medium, hot, dark roast coffee. It's been launched, so that's one. Secondly is our Dunkin' Perks, which is a loyalty program. It's a very simple program. Uh, and I think it's v very reminiscent of what you were just talking about on the program, about how you get people back into the stores. And I think two other reasons is we're world class, we had fun events like our donuts, this is Halloween donuts, and also fast service. People want to come into our stores, get served in and out very quickly, so speed is critical. Jason, a holiday like National Coffee Day. It's not is a this, holiday. But that's exactly it. Is this just something created by marketers and advertisers? I mean, I argue that Valentine's Day is just a scam to get me to overpay for dinner. Yeah, marketing and advertising. We love, we love holidays. We love an excuse to talk about our product. So National Coffee, but I would say, coffee is an extremely important beverage in the world. I mean, think about it. We all wake up to it. It fuels us. It gets us going. And it just, it's incredibly enjoyable. So it deserves a holiday. It, it deserves some reverence. We'll put it that way. Nigel, where is the battle for breakfast most intense? I think it's most intense on coffee. I mean, as is you it? said, you know, coffee's a big business. I mean, looking at some numbers, coffee has increased on average 5.6% for the last five or six years. It's now nearly $28 billion. That's both grocery and restaurants together. People, as you say, love coffee. It's continuing to grow. It's continuing to grow internationally. Like us, we're continuing to grow all, all the way around the world. So I think coffee is part of the battle, but breakfast is the broader part of the same battle. How do you, how do you take somebody else's coffee drinker? Well, I, I mean, is it you, that, cut, you cut, you cut your, the price of You your offer coffee? them a free medium roast today on coffee day. No, no, yeah, no, no, and, and guess what? You can have it for 99 cents for the Any next other day. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, no, the, the answer is, I think, when we go into a new market and we're growing very quickly across the U.S., we get a lot of customers from independent stores. Ah. We get some from some of the chain competitors. Uh, and one of the things we're very lucky, we have a lot of transplants. I mean, we had queues right around the block when we opened in California the other week. And by the way, just to prove it's not only California, Bangalore in India two weeks ago, southern India, we had the same kind of result. Do you find, do you find that uh, the breakfast day part is the most loyal day part within the category? I, I think it's loyal, but the, you know, virtually everyone who goes to Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, goes to another chain the same week. You know, peop people... A are different chain. Yeah, a different chain. People are driven by convenience. They're driven by offers. They're driven by great service. And that's why we focus so much on our service and speed and new ideas. They're dr okay, I'm going to give you a new idea. Help me through the craze, the desire for pumpkin, pumpkin spice. I feel like it's everywhere. What's so cool about a pumpkin? Well, it, it's interesting you say that because I, we were actually criticized last week for not bringing out pumpkin early enough. Really? Um, and we bought Who it out. Who criticized it? October yet. Why uh, no. haven't you brought pumpkin out already? I mean, someone criticized you for that? Yeah, no. So, they need to find so, something else to do with their time. So, so, so we bought it out in sept late September. Some other competitors bought it out early in September. So people said, why don't you bring it out at the same time as then? Yeah, you're right. These holidays are getting longer and longer. But I have to tell you, this is the biggest limited time offer of the year. And we obviously have pumpkin in our coffee, we have it in our donuts, uh, there's all kinds of, we have pies, you know, pumpkin is everywhere. Burger King has come under some criticism yep. for this uh, deal to buy, or to be bought effectively yep. by Tim Hortons to move uh, its headquarters to Canada. How do you take advantage of that? Oh, we're, we're really, got our franchisees fired up about that. Any merger, which by definition means uh, disruption, usually means cost savings, is an opportunity for us. Our franchisees really see this as a great opportunity to grow, to cement their strength in various markets. We're very, very excited about the fact that they're going to spend two years working on this merger and all the distractions that go with it. I think it's great for us. It's great for our franchisees. Do you, do you worry at all about the possibility of Tim Hortons coming down here and, and being such a loved and trusted brand in Canada? Well, uh, we, we battle with Tim Hortons every uh, day of the week up around the Canadian border. Um, they've shut down a lot of stores over the last two or three years in places like Providence, Hartford, Maine. Uh, so we've done very well. They've done well in a couple of markets. 
but our franchisees are very competitive, as am I. So we're going to take advantage of that. But so far, I think the opportunity for them to go really deep into America has yet to be proven. <laughs> Where does health belong in the conversation, in nutrition, or maybe not at all? Because I'm looking at a donut and I'm looking at a coffee and I'm thinking to myself, there isn't Neither much, healthy, there isn't much nutritional value in either. And we've seen how Coca-Cola experimented with this obesity debate, didn't really work out in their favor. Pepsi has tried in many cases to launch healthy snacks, hasn't really worked out for Pepsi. Do you figure it's just better to do what know you know lane. and, and yeah, know your customer and forget about all that stuff? That's a great question. Our, our philosophy is simple. You give people the choice. We have a DD Smart menu, which is basically low calorie items, like our wake up wrap. Obviously, coffee is very low calorie. It is. Give people all those, <laughs> yeah, give people all those options and let them decide. I can tell you, most people decide to go with uh, things like the French crawler and our donuts and our breakfast sandwiches. The heart attack and but, the, but, but the most important thing is to give people those choices uh, and let the consumer decide. We are very consumer driven. And everything we do is driven by you what you don't want to play an active role in making them. Healthier. It's not our job to educate our consumers. Our job is to follow consumer trends, listen. That's the key word. Listen to what our franchisees say, who are in touch with the consumers. Listen to what the research says, and that's why we bought out our dark roast coffee. Our consumers said they wanted another blend that is bold and smooth, like all Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but not bitter.